Hey everyone, it's Ray here with Straw Daddy Bates, and I'm putting myself to a challenge, and that challenge is, can I paint a fishing lure, this 1.5 square bow crankbait, with uh, fingernail polish only? No, you know, not using any acrylic paint, airbrush paint to do uh, the, the white base coat or anything like that, just using straight, uh, fingernail polish that I got at Dollar Tree. Well, sadly, they didn't have a white. So we are gonna have to improvise just a little bit, which is no big deal. And I'm actually gonna start with this one right here. Um, no, I don't have a clue what it is. It's that color right there. So let's actually use it to do, uh, to completely coat our lure. And I don't have a clue how this is going to go, what it's going to look like, uh, if it's going to run. You know, I don't have a clue. Uh, there was a lady that I worked with at one time. She said her father used fingernail polish only to paint his fishing lures that he made. So we are going to try that and see what the outcome is. It could be a complete disaster. But, uh, we're going to try it anyways. Uh, I'm almost for certain that these would not be good enough to try to sell. <laughs> but, you know, you, you never know. Maybe, you know, 12 years down the road when I actually figure out how to use fingernail polish. But, um, but basically what I'm going to do when painting this crankbait with fingernail polish is basically use the same fundamentals that I would when I'm using my airbrush. And so that is basically just layering our colors on here. So as you can see, starting out with a light color and then working our way up to dark colors. So that way, um, you know, we don't clash and you know, the dark color don't end up uh, feeling, uh, covering up the light colors because you want the light color showing for sure. But um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. And seeing that it's already leaving streaks into the lure, this should be interesting, <laughs> none the least. But uh, okay. And I'm going to try to make this video as, you know, relatively short. I don't want my videos to be long on here. Uh, but, you know, even if it means me having to cut some things out to make, uh, to make it, you know, 30 minutes. I don't want to do much more than 30 minutes by all means. Okay, so... We've got most of this covered with this, uh, I, I don't have a clue what color this is. This, that tannish color, whatever. Um, oh. So, I am going to uh, heat set this so we can move on to the next coat relatively quickly. Hopefully that's dry enough to where we can continue. So now we're going to start with the bottom. And I think um, I don't really have a yeller. Um, so I think what I'm actually going to do is go with this uh, light pink color. Um, this is called Pizzazz. And these are all LA colors, if that means anything to y'all. I mean, it don't really mean 
whole bunch to me, but, you know, what do I know? Apparently not much at all. Okay. I think the thing that's going to be the most difficult about doing this is blending the colors in so that they don't uh, clash. Because you don't really want um, a paint line in between your colors. You want your colors to match evenly. But, you know, it's sometimes don't work like that. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to work like that with this. Okay. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult than I expected, to be honest with you. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to put any more on that until I heat set that as well. Uh. Alright, let's go ahead and grab some more of it and do another coat and see if it does any good. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's probably going to be as good as I'm going to be able to get that. Okay. Let's go ahead and heat set that again. Alright, so there's that. So now considering that's actually a, a bit of a darker color, uh, it really is even though it's supposed to be like a light pink, um, we need to go with just a tad bit darker color on the side here. So I'm actually going to go with a purple, uh, a light purple. Let's go with this 913. Uh, yeah, I don't say what color it is either. So this stuff here. And uh, we'll go up to the middle line on it as well, like we do with most of our stuff. Okay. Right. There's that. Kind of dripping a little bit. Yeah, see, that's that was the thing I was worried about is it not really giving you a clean edge when it comes to uh, the separation of your lines, like right here. So, uh, by all means, it's not giving me no, you know, um, well, yeah, it's really not. Ooh, this stuff is stout. Good lord, it's stout. Okay, and that's completely off, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and heat set that real quick. Give it one more coat. Don't knock that over, please. All right. 
That's better. Okay. And there we go. All right. So we got that section done. Let's go ahead and heat set it. So now then we went from uh, a pink to a purple. Now we need to go with a, a darker color. So what I'm actually going to do, believe, is let's actually take, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, this, this is extremely difficult to try to figure out what I want to do next. Um, do I want to do that? And then... Uh, so let's actually go with this. I may regret this, but let's go with this uh, stuff that's got the glitter in it. And let's see if it actually... Oh, you know what? That's not going to work. Okay. All right. That's not going to work. At oh. It is not going to work. So let's just go with this. This is a darker purple, but it has a good bit of glitter in it. And see if this in itself, oh no. I may have messed up, but that's all right. We done started. Um, you know what? Let's take it over our purple that we put on down here. As Bob Ross says, we don't make mistakes, we make happy little accidents. <sighs> okay. So we'll just improvise and make it work to our advantage, hopefully. Hopefully, it'll work to the, our advantage. Okay. It's actually not half bad. Okay. So we'll close that up. Let's heat set this. So, considering the fact that we completely screwed it up, I actually, let's go with this, this blue right here to go on the top half and uh, see if that does it any justice at all. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm going to try to overlap it just a little bit, but not too much. Okay. Let's go on the other side here and do the same thing. Okay. All right. Let's take it all the way up to the top here. I'm sorry if y'all can't see that. Uh, okay, sure I'm glad I got my fan on, good lord. I don't know how the women do this. Just be sitting in one spot and not have a fan on nowhere and breathing this junk in. Okay. Take it to the top there. One more dip. 
we want to get that filled up right there. Okay. All right. Let's heat set this real quick. Okay, and so what we're gonna do now to kind of let that dry for a little bit longer, I'm gonna take some black and run it right down the center of the back of this bait. So let's take our black here. Good Lord, I guarantee you that covers it up. Okay. Right, we need to try to get this line right here to match, which is extremely difficult to do if you're wondering. Okay, got that. Needs to go down just a tad bit more. Okay. All right. Come on, man. There we go. And I'm actually going ahead and do the nose of it as well. I'm sorry if I keep getting it out of the camera view, and I don't mean to do that, but. I'm having to get as close as I can to this to see what I'm doing. Okay. All right. Let's close that up and let's go ahead and heat set this real quick. Okay, so let's go right here to where the blue's at and uh, go ahead and add this red glitter uh, fingernail polish to it. All right. Well, that's quite nice, I like that. Okay, let's do the other side. Right. Oh. Okay. Alright, so we got that done. Holy cow, that's really bright. Okay. And then for on top of the back, we're gonna use this. It's got it's like gray silver whatever flash in it i don't i don't know and uh let me see first before i do this this holy cow we don't need to put that on the top and i'll show you the reason why in a minute um let's actually just go ahead and use this it's a little funky fied but you know why not you know we're making a hot mess of this anyway so why not make it more of a hot mess all right and run it right down the middle of the back So y'all can halfway see what I'm doing here. Okay. Oop, too much. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and heat set this. Now then, we're going to go back in with this. The reason why I didn't want to put it on top, because this is not glitter. It is, but it ain't. But it's it covers everything up. So I think what I want to do is just add a few spots here and there with it. So just do like a little touch. Just a little touch here and there. I mean, look at that. Good Lord. Okay, do it on the other side as well. Okay, touch, touch. Just touch it. There's that. And uh, last but not least, let's actually add something to the bottom here because it has no color to it. So we're gonna use this. This has got a little glitter in it as well. So this will kind of help the bottom stand out a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay. It's like a massive change right there. Okay, we need to get right there. And get right there. Oh uh, shoot, I got some on the side there. That's all right. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and heat set this one more time. All right, so it is possible to paint your own lure with a uh, fingernail polish. It, it's not the greatest quality, but it does work. Let me turn my light down some because this is extremely bright. There we go. So as you can see, I mean, it is, it's, uh, it's funky fat, but, uh, I mean, if you don't really have the money to be able to buy an airbrush, an airbrush system and all that and airbrush paint because it's not cheap. I mean, this is a route that you could take is going with fingernail polish and get a Dollar Tree for a dollar. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'd recommend giving this a try if you can't afford it. So, I uh, hope y'all enjoy the video. Remember to subscribe, like the video, and uh, y'all head over to TikTok. I got an account over there, and, I'm, and I've, I also have a Facebook account on Straw Daddy Baits. I uh, also have a website, which is www.strawdaddybaits-myshopify.com. Uh, so y'all go check that out, and uh, y'all have a great day.